In this video, we're going to talk about how to allocate joint costs using the net realizable value. I'm going to talk about what the NRV is in a moment, but let's get to our example. So let's say you have a dairy farm. You produce raw milk at a cost of $300,000. Then you have a separation process that costs $200,000. And then you end up with two joint products. You have whole milk and you have some cream. Now, normally we'd say, okay, well, what are the sales value of each of these products at this point? And you say, well, the whole milk could be sold right now for $240,000. And normally we'd think of, well, we'd have a sales value for cream also, right? This is the split off point where these products can be unique or separately sold. However, let's just assume here that we don't know the sales value for cream at this point. Then you say, well, how do we go about allocating these joint costs, right? We have $500,000 here in joint costs that we want to allocate to each of these products. And you might be saying, well, if we don't know a sales value for this, how are we even going to sell it? Well, what if we plan on processing these products further? And so when we're going to process them further, for the whole milk, it's going to cost us an extra $40,000. And it's going to give us non-fat milk, which will have a final sales value final sales value of three hundred thousand dollars and then the sour cream is going to we're going to take the cream and make sour cream that's going to have a final sales value of five hundred thousand dollars so now what we can do we've got these the sales values after the processing we can take those right so let's take the sour cream right so we got the five hundred thousand dollars after processing and we can deduct the incremental cost, the cost of that processing, we can deduct that to get an amount of 390000 right? So that's the, that's the final sales value. So final sales value minus the processing cost, the incremental processing cost. And that is going to be our net realizable value, right? So it's 390000 for the sour cream and then over here when we look at our whole milk that we transformed into non-fat milk we've got 300,000 final sales value so we'll take 300,000 but then we're going to subtract those those costs of processing we, we call these separable costs right these are separable what we mean by separable is they're unique right we can to, to right here to, to making that non-fat milk we can separate these costs out and say look this 40,000 really just has to do with the non-fat milk. So we're going we're gonna to separate that out. We're going to deduct it right from the final sales value. That gives us 260,000 as the NRV for the non-fat milk. And then we have the 390,000 as the NRV for the sour cream. Now, here's what we can do. Similar to the relative sales value, now what we can do is we can add up these NRVs, right? So we've got 260,000 and 390,000. So if we add 260,000 plus 390,000, that gives us $650,000 total. This is our total NRV, okay? And now what we can do is we'll take like, for example, for the milk, for the non-fat milk, we'll take that 260,000 and we'll divide it by 650,000. And that should be 40%. Let's see here, that's 40. Yeah, so that's 0.4 or 40%. And now what we'll say is that of those costs that need to be allocated, the 500,000 in joint costs, we'll take 40% will go to the non-fat milk and then 60% of that 500,000 will go to the sour cream, okay? So here we've got 40, when we, figure out how much cost to allocate here. We'll take 40% times 500,000. And then for the sour cream, we'll take 60% times 500,000. And so we will end up with the total amount allocated. We'll have 200,000. Now this is the joint cost, right? We're, I'm not getting into the, the separable costs here. Those are obviously a, a cost too, right? This 110,000, for example, with the sour cream, that's a cost we want to consider as well. But right now, we're just worried about allocating the joint costs, right? I'm just talking about this $500,000, right? This is, these are joint costs that are common to producing both of these products. And we're trying to figure out how to spread them, right? How to allocate these costs along the non-fat milk division 
and then also the sour cream. All right, so 40% of those joint costs are going to get applied to the non-fat milk division. So we'd have 200,000 in joint costs for non-fat milk, joint costs allocated, and then 300,000 in joint costs allocated for the sour cream. Now, in addition, there will also, we have to consider these costs as well too. They don't have to do with the allocation, right? Because they're separable, but just bear that in mind. So now this is a really nice method, this net realizable value method, because if you go back to the beginning, right? So what we said when we first get these joint products of whole milk and cream, I mean, in this case, in reality, you could probably figure out the market price for cream in, in a real world setting, but there might be some kind of product where it's an intermediate product here. We've got some joint product and you're gonna process it further into something else. And you don't really know what the sales value is at that intermediate stage, right? When it first becomes a joint product. And so then you can use this NRV, this net realizable value method in order to be able to allocate those joint costs.